Hey, it is Sabrina Sabheni, and I, I feel like this is like a weird angle because I'm looking down and I feel like it looks like my eyes are closed, but this is just the best angle I could get right now. Am I sure? I want you to be able to see it, but then it makes me dark. Okay, but anyways, I'm here today to basically show you the CDs that I have. So I've been watching a lot of, oh, and I'm sick, so my um, voice is like way deeper than normal. Okay. So I've been watching a lot of, um, a lot of people's like record vinyl collections and stuff. Mm. I'm losing my voice, I'm sorry. And I'm doing this video now, even though I'm like so sick and losing my voice, because I already filmed this video. <laughs> But then I deleted it like like an idiot. <laughs> so, but anyways. So, um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of people's like vinyl collections and record collections. And I don't have any vinyl but this Lana Del Rey one. But I don't even have a record player yet. But I have my CDs, which are in my pants purse. If you remember me thrifting this. But I have all my CDs, which are my pride and joys, and I take them with me everywhere. And I have 23 of them right now, which I think is funny because I'm turning 23 this year in 2019. And so these, I feel like, are my first CDs that I just had to have. Because once I started getting CDs, like, I just had to just finish out the ones that I really wanted. So these are it. The first time I recorded this video, I talked for like an hour and 40 minutes. So I'm gonna really try to like not do that. And I was supposed to have alphabetized these by artist, but I never did. So I'm just gonna dive in. I'm so sorry if my voice is so like, this is like not what you wanna be hearing. And like, I wish I could have like up here. Like, see, I need it to be like up here. Like, how do I, how does that, how do I make that the case? Ooh, I got the angle to be better. Okay, so angle's a little bit better. My voice is still not, so I'm really sorry. I really, really am sorry. Oh my gosh, but Astro's gonna knock into this stand like no other. Okay. All right, if it's like wiggling, it's because Astro's jumping all over the place. Oh my gosh, he's looking at me. Wait, I should have done this in alphabetical order. Well, this I feel like is the first artist with like the highest letter name. <laughs> so this is my Banks CD. This is Goddess by Banks. And this is the only CD uh, that has, <laughs> I was gonna say something else. This is the only CD that has like this red case to it see the book is black red case the book looks so nice there she is there's banks look it says fucking with a goddess and you get a little colder from the song goddess but yeah that's um this is the first cd i have this is what the cd looks like on the inside this whole vibe of the cd with like the red and like the i don't know it reminds me of um marquez browley that uh that tech guy like his little intro with the red and like the lines and stuff that's what that makes me think of but um also on each cd i just want to talk about well not talk about but i'm just going to give my favorite songs um and which is hard to pick because these are all my favorite my favorite cds so but from goddess i mean the song goddess is like one of my top faves this is what it feels like top fave drowning Begging for Thread, and Fuck em Only We Know. I like that song too. Wait, did I say that already though? I don't know. I skipped over it, but I, that's one of my faves too. So that's Banks. She's one of my favorite artists. Uh, I don't have the altar on CD. I really wish that I did, but we could talk about 21 Savage because technically the numbers should come first. So... <clears throat> Oh my gosh, my voice is so unappealing right now. I'm so sorry. But this is my 21 Savage CD. Uh, it's an album. And hold on, let me let you see. 
the situation. This is him looking all cute. There's him looking all cute. I noticed though, I noticed this when I was recording it before. This picture on the inside is from the whole savage mode, like, aesthetic thing. Like, that's the picture that they had for No Heart, I'm pretty sure. So, caught that. And then here's the CD. I don't know if you're gonna, oh gosh. Oh, there you can see it. See, it's so pretty, isn't it? It's like this, like, really, it's like a neon, like, salmon color. It's just so pretty. I love it. So that's its the album, um, Free 21 Savage. Although I think he did get released a few days ago, I think. But favorite songs from this album, I would say <sighs> Baby Girl and Thug Life. I really like those two songs. Um, uh, I was going to say close my eyes. I'm trying to give just my favorites, like I keep saying. Seven Minute Freestyle is like my absolute favorite on the <laughs> I love the seven minute freestyle. We pray to thee, Lana Del Rey. So I mentioned this in my video where I was showing like my wall. And I used to have all of these like up on the wall, but I took them down because I like to have them in the CD case better. I cannot talk right now. I have these because of my little sister. So shout out to her because no CD store had any Lana CDs, and still never do. But I have Born to Die, Paradise, which is like Born to Die, Paradise, you know, the little add-on EP thing. And then Ultraviolence. I feel like I'm holding these like so awkwardly, I don't know why. But yes, these are the only ones I have. Um, I, I, if I could ever find Honeymoon and Lust for Life, that would be, I mean, and people tell me, like, you should just order the CDs you want online, but I feel like that's kind of not the fun of it, like, I feel like if I can't find these in a music store here, that just means I'm gonna have to travel to another city at some point and find the CD there, so, but, and I talk about Lana all the time, so, um, I will not dwell and I will just give you my favorite songs from each. So Born to Die, favorite songs. I would say Off to the Races, of course. Um, National Anthem is a top. Um, I would say Carmen, This is What Makes Us Girls, and Lolita, our favorites from Born to Die. The song Born to Die also sounds so good on CD. So, and then Paradise, favorite songs are Cola, Body Electric, and Gods and Monsters. That's easy. Those are, oh, those are the favorites from Paradise. Paradise. And then Ultra Violence, my favorites are, I actually really do like Cruel World, which is the first song. So that's a really long song. Oh, I said that in my Lana video. Um, Brooklyn Baby. That was one of my favorites. I don't know so much anymore. West Coast, though, it, we know is an all-time. Um, I would say... Fucked My Way Up to the Top? And The Other Woman. I like the song Ultraviolence, too, a lot. So those are my Lana CDs. Hopefully, that collection will expand soon. So the next artist we're gonna talk about is Earl Sweatshirt. And we have, oh, you didn't even expect that, did you? Dang, so we've got Earl Sweatshirt. We've got all the CDs that I think you can get from him on CD, starting with Doris. And then we have I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside. And then we have some rap songs. So. Starting with Doris, this was the hardest CD for me to get. Every single time I'd go back to the CD store and I'd buy any other CD, I'd be like, let me see if Doris is here. And it never, oh, my nails matched the writing. And it never freaking was. And one day I went back and it was there. So this is the outside. It's like, it opens like a three part thing, you know? And it feels really nice. Like, the packaging on Doris is so good. Like, it's it feels like... It feels like a weird mix of, like, glossy and, like, matte. I don't know. It's, like, 
am I wet on the is my shirt wet what is happening so yeah it's like it feels really nice and it's like sturdy it's like heavy I don't know and it's got Earl with his eyes closed and then with his eyes a little bit open next to the cross Jeebus and then that says how are you feeling like shit is what that says so yeah that's Doris um, favorite songs, the songs are, oh yeah, they are listed. So my favorite songs from Doris are gonna be I Love Pre, um, 20 Wave Caps, What Are You Gonna Do Without 20 Wave Caps, Hive is really good, Sasquatch, Doris, I'm gonna just have to, I'm, all these songs I'm gonna end up saying, Sasquatch, I don't know how to say number eight, is it Centrion? That's the only way I know how to say it. Um, 523, that little instrumental is so good, see I'm just, Uncle Al, Molasses, <laughs> I'm listing them all, but these are like all, I like don't really skip a lot of the songs on this album. Molasses is like one of my favorite ones though, one of my top favorite ones. And then I don't like shit, I don't go outside, this has, you know, the minimal um, little uh, cover, and then Earl all knocked out and sad on the back. Um, and then this is what the CD looks like. It's got, you know, some statues, some imagery. Um, and then look, the songs are listed right here and they're all colorful and cute. I really like, I really like how those are listed. Um, so my favorite songs from this album are gonna be, um, I actually do really like the opening. I like Huey. And I kind of like that song because I feel like it gives it's like the only like kind of happy sounding song because this like as everyone knows this album is like very dark moody sounding album but Huey is like it's like kind of like happy sounding and then at the end of the song the lady's like and now a formal introduction and then it gets into like all the dark and sad songs so I don't know I don't know what that means professionally I don't know but I just I like how that song starts the album and then I really like Off Top, I really like Grown Ups, uh, AM Radio, and Wool are my favorite songs from this album. And then we have some rap songs, which I destroy more every time. Do you see how many cracks are on this album? I feel so bad. This is the album I was supposed to be taking the best care of because it was the first CD that I got. But... Yeah, got some rap songs. We got a little book. If we take a look on the inside of the book, where it has like the songs listed, he wrote right here, he wrote bars nigga, me. And then he said, thank you for your patience, which is so cute. Can you see it? So cute. I'm sorry, Earl. I know we were pressuring you for the new album. Talking about, Earl, we need bars, 16 of them. So the next artist that I'm gonna talk about is Cornrow Kenny. Ooh, and I like, I like the green vibe of like these two albums. This one's just black. But they all kind of fit nicely together, you know? So, yes, Cornrow Kenny, Kendrick Lamar, is the next artist that I have here. And the order that I bought these CDs is, I actually bought Untitled first. Or no, wait, did I? Yeah, I bought Untitled first, and then I bought Damn. And then I bought Good Kid Mad City. Because uh, they didn't have any Good Kid Mad Cities in the Kendrick Lamar section, which is always where I looked for it. But apparently they had it in the front with like the top selling CDs, which I, I never looked at that section because, I don't know, I just would go straight to the hip hop section. But that's, I mean, that's at least where it was the day I found it. Who knows if it was always up there. Some rap songs was up there too, actually. But some rap songs you can buy under the Earl section, so I don't understand. But I had always looked for this one and it was the last one that I ended up finding. And of course, I still need to pimp a butterfly. It's got the classic cover on it of, uh, I don't want to take it out, of Kenny with the fam. I've got Kendrick with the fam with the classic cover. And I mean, I don't know if this is the fam. I don't know who it is. But, and yeah. 
So top songs from this, Shireen is one of my top favorite songs from Kendrick of all time. Um, let's see, other tops, I would say Backseat Freestyle, I do really, really like. Good Kid um, is my favorite Kendrick Lamar song of all time, which, I mean, I found by doing the bracket, as I mentioned in my Lana video. Um, Mad City is a top, um, and I would say Real is another top for me. Those are my top favorites on Good Kid, Mad City. And then we have Untitled Unmastered, and it has its, you know, green cover, its green back, all the untitled songs, Untitled 1 through 8, and yeah, the inside, the CD matches everything else. I really like the whole, oh, the Good Kid Mad City CD just looks like this, just a black CD. But yeah, my favorite songs from Good... <laughs> My favorite songs from Untitled Unmastered is, I would say Untitled, well Untitled 2 and 7 are obvious, I think those are the best songs on the album. Untitled 4 I really like, because I really do like the song, but it's also my birthday, it's August 14th, it's listed 8-14-2014. Which would have been the year that I graduated. So that's 2014 is the year I graduated. And I think I turned 18 that year. So August 14th, 2018. Uh, or 2018, 2014, I turned 18. But I really like that song. And I really like Untitled 8 as well. And then last, we have Damn. Which, Damn, I think might might be my favorite Kendrick Lamar album. Like, I don't know. The conversation is endless of what is the best. I mean, could there be a difference between the best CD versus your favorite CD? And every time I say CD, I mean the album, not like just the actual physical CD. I don't know. Because I think Damn is just my favorite. Damn, I skip the least amount of songs on. This is the like collector's edition is what they called it. So this, if you're not familiar with Cornrow Kenny, Kendrick Lamar, did I say that right? Did I say Kendrick? Kendrick Lamar makes CDs that are meant to, like, you know, he makes, like, concept albums, which are meant to be listened to from beginning to end, like, and it's, gonna, it's like a story. And this one, when this came out, everyone started to say, like, oh, it has its story. But you can also play the songs in the opposite order, so you can start with um, you can start with Duckworth and end with Blood, and you'll have like a different story, or like people would say like it's the true story or whatever. Yeah, and then once all that started coming out, they came out with the collector's edition of Damn, which is the songs in the flipped order. So if you can see, it starts number one with Duckworth and it ends number 14 with blood so yeah and it's numbered too so it's number 12,897 12, is what this is so and I am a sucker for like a like oh it's numbered so like you're one of the one of the thousands but it is cool and then you know you've got your black dam and then you've got, you know, a little, little black book. Um, favorite songs from this. Duckworth actually is one of my top favorite songs from this album. XXX featuring U2 is one of my favorites. Um, Lust. And then I would say, Yeah. And then DNA is like, you know, DNA is a, is a bop.